Hey everybody, I'm back to do a BoxyCharm unboxing. I have it here, as you can see, I've already broken into it, but I wanted to share with you guys, it's been a couple months. I've had this subscription for close to a year now, I think. Maybe a couple months off, but anyways, I've had it for a long time and I used to share them, but with all my illnesses, I haven't shared it in a couple months. So I wanted to show you this month's box. I really, really like it. I think it was $21 a month. I'll have to look it up. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out. And I actually don't know if this is June's box or May. I think it went came to my US shipping address like around June 1st, at least that's when I got it, but that means it could be May, it could have just been a late shipment, or they could have been really on the ball and been June, and I haven't been keeping track, so let me know if this is May or June's box if you get BoxyCharm. But I'm just gonna dive right in, show you what I got. The first thing is actually on my cheeks right now, and I've been using it all week. I was really excited about it, it's from Makeup Geek. If you guys watch my channel, you know how much I love Makeup Geek products. I actually do have a couple of their blushes. That's the packaging it came in there, although my packaging is different. Let me show you one of the ones that I have. All right, so of course I can't find it when I need it, but anyways, the Makeup Geek blushes that I have just had like a clear lid on top so that you could see the blush through it. So I don't know if this is just a new um, kind of line within the blushes or if they revamped all their packaging, but I really love it. So it looks like this. It's got that chrome kind of rose gold um, outside to it, and then it's actually a magnetic closure, which I absolutely love, so. It just closes like that. So I'm really a fan of the packaging. The shade I got is called Soulmate, and when I first looked at it, I really thought this looked more like a fall color because it's got a bit of a plum to it. It's darker, and I was like, I don't know about that for summer. I'll swatch it for you. But I think because I have a tan, it just shows up way better on my skin tone. So it definitely does work for summer. If you have really fair skin, I don't know if this would be a good color for you, but look how pretty that is. Like I said, I have it on my cheeks now. So this is obviously one of the things I was most excited about when I opened up the box. The next thing I have opened as well, because I wore it the other day, this is called Catherine Malandrino Romance de Provence. So. It's a perfume and it comes in a spray bottle. I'm not a huge perfume fan. I do have a couple that I like, but I'm very, very picky. But I'm happy to let you guys know that I actually like this one. It's sweet, I can tell you that about it. I'm not very good at fragrances, but I know it's sweet and it's not too overpowering, and I think that's why I like it. So I did wear it once. I'm sure I'll get some more use of it use out of it at some point. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of perfume, but I was decently happy with that. And then I got the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks, a clear water resistant eyebrow gel, which I was really excited about because I use eyebrow gel every day in my eyebrows. That actually reminds me, I don't think I put it on today. I need to do that after, but um, I use the tinted one. I like the Rimmel one. So I was excited to get a new one. I did use it once and unfortunately, I mean, I'll try it again. So it looks like there, I wasn't a huge fan. First of all, when you open it, it comes out well, some of it just came out now, but the brush was completely dry. I had to keep sticking the wand back in and rubbing it around, trying to get any product for a long, long time. Like I put it in probably 10 times before I actually noticed that I had product. And it is clear, so I did use it on my eyebrows, but it left them crunchy, which I wasn't a fan of. I'm sure it actually is water resistant because it was darn crunchy, but I don't want crunchy eyebrows. So I wasn't a fan of that one. All right, what's next? This is a nail polish, and I really wish that I could get back to growing my nails because as you can see, I've been kind of picking and peeling them off and it's not good. I wanna have nice nails again, and when I do, this is definitely a color I'll be using because I really love it. This is the Ella and Mila nail polish. Bonbon, bon, is that the actual shade? No, pistache. Pistache is the shade, and it's a very milky light mint green. Isn't that pretty? So one day when I have nails again, I will try this on, but I wasn't super excited because I have not been wearing nail polish. All right, next I have the dual-ended eyeliner from Double Ego. That's what it looks like there. I don't think I've opened this up yet. Oh yes, I have. It's not black. I thought it was black, but you know what? I actually want to try this. The color is quite nice. Maybe I'll actually do another Talk Tuesday and use some of these products, and I think I'll definitely use this one. It's like an olive green. So. One side is one of those roll-up pencils like that, and then the other side is a felt tip eyeliner pen, which I love. So I'll swatch it for you real quick so you can see the color. It almost looks black, to be honest. But, oh, the other one's sparkly, hey! <laughs> I don't know that I'll be using a sparkly eyeliner. The pencil one's got glitter in it, gold glitter, but the felt tip almost looks black, but it's definitely green, so I don't think you'd tell on the eyes, but Oop, put one cap on the wrong side. I always do that. 
So that's good. Already I've gotten a lot of good value for money in this box. This and the um, blush alone. So I was happy with that. And then the last product, I never get excited about the Starlux brand because I feel like they are in all of these subscription box services and I've never really found anything that I liked. So I wasn't super excited about it. It's the Starlux Charmed Ultra Longwear Lip Pencil. That's what it looks like there. I swatched it and I thought it looked like a really nice color, which I was excited about, but then I put it on and it didn't look quite right on me. It's, it's just too pink. That's what it looks like right there. Just too pink. So I don't know, I'll keep it in case I ever need an eyeliner like this, but I could go without that. But other than that, I was really happy with everything in the box. I have a 25% off for Pure, and what was Pure again? All right, so my camera just overheated. I don't know where that cut off, but yes, the pure was the eyeliner. But yes, I was very, very happy with this month's box. Let me know if you got anything different in your box and let me know if you have any questions. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.